Hi guys, welcome back to another new Photoshop tutorial. My name is Manny and welcome to this new year, new tutorials and everything might change a little bit this year. So I want to go more intense and become a more of a YouTuber. So in today's tutorial also I want to show you guys something complete new again. I want to do a complete PSD rundown and show you guys from A to Z what we did on this shot. As you guys can see in front of you of this Golf GTI 6, I want to show you guys where I started and what I did in my complete PSD file. Alright, so let's get started on that. First of all, as you guys can see over here, if I select my first image, this is the start where I started out with when I got the shots and, or well, actually took them myself, but when I started out shooting this, I started with this shot and then I've ended with this kind of shot. So I wanted to show you guys now what I did in the PSD file and where I started with what. Okay, so obviously on the right hand side, as you guys can see over here, we do have loads of different categories and folders. That is very important for me because I did have around 200 different shots that I took into this image and then I use different selections from this from the shooting and use different lighting situations to create a nice looking car and also build this whole thing. Alright so let's get started here first at the start. First image that I took in was this normal shot with the background here having the painting with light um, effect. We did a shoot with that long exposure and then we added this painting of light effect to see what it does to the car. Give some nice reflections here and we actually thought of using that but afterwards ended not using it because the client wasn't happy with it. So first of all let me open my PSD file here or first of all just select it. That is the complete car and body uh, category here, the whole group. So let's open this and you will already see in here loads of different uh, folders again. So let's just deselect all of them. First of all what we started out with I had just the background over here so we added some nice sky from one of the images as you guys can see the mountain here and some nice skies then we also added some more ground so over here as you guys can see some shots from back behind the car we lit it from behind so we got some nice adjustment here and texture detail from the ground then we did some interior in the interior just added a little bit of shots from the interior getting all those different light situations if I'm opening this group you guys can see over here it's always just a complete shot and then we made a lot of masks with different highlighted areas so over here if I untick these you can then again see okay this was just for the highlights in the front then we added a little bit more highlights on the top I've added here inside a little bit more light like that then at the back a little bit more and also from the front a little bit more so that's basically how it also works I add one shot and then also mask out what I need from that certain exposure Okay, minimize this again, then we added a little bit of lights here in the front. Let me just turn this on and off so you guys can see it. And also a little bit of from the grill, get some nice reflections here, some nice highlights. Then also we added the wheel at the back, get some nice light from there, also on the rim and tire to have some nice exposures around there again. Then front wheel, the same as well, as you guys can see over here, complete rim with the brakes and also the tires and have some nice reflections here at the back just to highlight that area again. Obviously you want to show the complete car, the body, the shape of the body, so you need to conf or need to find all these small things that show up the body. Okay, then on here we had way more, as you guys can see now, if I turn this off and on, you can see all the reflections from the car going straight from the light here in the front all over the car and then at the side and highlighting the doors and also highlighting the, the handle here. So loads of new exposures there again, if I untag this and open this. You can see it over here. Then we also have from the front bumper, we have a complete new grill. We have the complete new lighting situations just from the grill here in the front. And also from the backlight, as you guys can see over here now at the back. Just a little bit of a, I think this was even just another adjustment layer with some color if I'm right. No, also just a normal exposure and we highlighted just the reds from that mask. Okay, and then overall we added just from the body. Now the body was way more work because you obviously have to show the whole shape of that car and also feature just a little bit these round shapes here of the body. So if I'm going to open the body shape in here, as you guys can see, loads of different masks with different lighting situations. If I say, for instance, would go over here and say disable layer mask, you would now see the layers also set to lighten mode. If I'm going to set this back to normal, 
you would not be able to see it. Let me turn all everything off here. Switch that on. And it's also set to 8%, so I should set this back to 100%. As you guys can see over there, this is a nice shot, just illuminating the bonnet here and also a little bit from the ground, but we just used the bonnet over here. All right, so let me set that back to 8% over here and also set that back to lighten. That's a pretty good method to just get the exposures here right. Okay, right click here, enable the layer mask, and as you guys can see, loads of different masks and exposures here again. If we're going to say disable this layer mask, you guys can see again over here, we have a complete new adjustment just from the side here. Okay, enable that again. So let's go back. This is our complete body, and this already made up the complete car and as you guys can see also the complete group is in a red phase here so we know okay this is all about just the car over here okay so that was basically just the car then we went in and said car retouching okay the client wasn't happy with this painting of light effect here and the reflection on the car doesn't look nice at all so he wanted it out completely so i went in and retouched that all took out all the complete uh, car reflections. We had another shot just without the painting with light effects, so that was just a small extra at the start. So it's able we were able to take it out really, really quickly. Okay, here from car retouching, took out that. Then I've added the ground, a little bit more detail in here. As you guys can see, that is again a few more adjustments, uh, a few more exposures. So over here, lightened the foreground a little bit and also get more details again. Then I did a little bit of tuning on top of this and we also got a little bit of a purple touch now to the image. This is obviously sitting so long on the image already that you can't really feel or get the right feeling anymore for your image. So over here we did a little bit over purple I would say. After that I had a little bit of a break. I went away from the computer and didn't look at the PSD file for a while. And afterwards I came back so that's why it's also over here save and a break. Then I came back after some time and we've changed things again. Also the client said it's a little bit too purple. They wanted a little bit cooler uh, but also a bit warmer but the colors aren't right yet. So over here we changed the background again. A little bit of vignetting and also just leading the eye more into the center of the image. And then we changed the number plate over here. We added just the golf name as you guys can see now. And then as well, a version 2 where we just made the complete image a bit more contrastier and a bit warmer again. This is what the client want, wanted or was happy with. Um, and then we did another version 2 fix where we just fixed up some small spots again and we also cropped it and made the image a little bit bigger. And that was almost the final touch. Then we just had our final layer now where we just again added a few small touches. We touched up some cloning and healing stuff around the image and then we were quite happy with the image so far. Okay, yeah, so that was everything that we did to this image. Um, if you guys like these tutorials, please give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below if you kind of like these PSD rundowns. And also please leave me a comment about what you would like to see in the future in these tutorials. My name is Manny. Thank you guys for watching. And please have a look at the end. We also got some more pro advice for you lined up with some other great YouTubers. Okay guys, my name is Manny and see you all in my next tutorial. Bye-bye.